Mm -hmm. uh, talks have begun to forestall the planned shutdown of the iconic Intercontinental Hotel. This is in Nairobi County. The facility has issued a 45-day notice to staff citing operational difficulties for the redundancy. Here are the details. The 51-year-old hotel located in Nairobi's CBD and adjacent to Parliament buildings has been struggling to meet its financial obligations. As a result, the management in redundancy letters to the staff indicated that they will be shutting down operations mid-September to cut further losses aggravated by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, sources with the hotel industry intimated to Citizen Television that talks have begun to save the iconic hotel. But this is not the first time the hotel has hit headlines over financial pressures. In February 2019, the hotel was set for auction over debt amounting to about 717 million shillings it owed to Stanbic Bank. Documents which then revealed that the 389-room hotel had made losses for 10 straight years and lacked critical insurance cover for its operations. The hotel is owned by, among others, the government of Kenya through the Tourism Finance Corporation, which owns 34% shares. Other owners include the Intercontinental Hotel Group Corporation, which it derives its trading name from. The government has, however, been attempting to get rid of its stake in the hotel, but with little success. According to the Privatization Commission, it had received approval from Parliament in 2014. This became a cropper after they received very low bids. The process was again activated in February by the Commission and is waiting conclusion. Sources add Intercon, as it's popular known, has largely been impacted due to its niche meetings and conferencing business that was hit hard by COVID-19. It has also been beleaguered by age, which edges it out as the city continues to witness introduction of new and more modern equipped hotels, upping competition.